One of the things we're looking for is to define whether the neuropathologic changes that accompany dementia are different in the oldest old, that is the centenarians, compared to younger older people, that is people in the 65 to 75, 80 range. One of the unique things about the Georgia Centenarian Project is that it allows us an opportunity to do clinical and pathologic correlation, having studied these individuals during their life, and then the opportunity to study their brains after life to see what underlies their cognitive abilities. It is a small brain, it only weighs 923 grams. What I will be doing is to evaluate this brain, and initially that's done by inspecting the surface. And so what we look for is the overall symmetry of the brain. The cerebral hemispheres are quite symmetrical. There is a mild degree of atrophy in the regions of the motor area, such as you see here, where there is some shrinkage of the gyri and widening of the salsa here. But overall, there's not a lot of atrophy in this brain. Now we're into the thalamus, which is a, a major sensory component. And you also notice that the temporal horns of the lateral ventricles are markedly widened. And the hippocampi, which are very, very important in memory, uh, are quite shrunken. We laid all this out and looked at it long and hard. We did not find any vascular lesions. We found enlargement of the ventricles, even though the brain was small. And we photographed each section that we had cut uh, for posterity. If there are lesions, we take sections of the lesions as well. We put those into uh, formaldehyde, and they're then processed uh, by dehydration into paraffin blocks, where they are um, then cut and stained with a number of immunostains. And then this comes together into a final definitive neuropathological diagnosis. The neuropathological diagnosis is then put together with the clinical findings to come out with a clinical pathological correlative diagnosis so that we can then get a better handle on what's happening to the centenarian brain. We need to understand more about the pathology of this age because over the next 50 to 150 years, we're gonna have a lot more of these people to, to take care of from a medical standpoint, more importantly, to make their life better.